I thought I would never see you again and he's freaking there. It was so creepy the fact that this man just showed up in this in the front door right now and what is up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is edward and today i got a story time video for you guys i wasn't really sure about saying it but then i was like well i really don't have anything else planned for this week so why not just give you guys a story time video i hope you guys don't mind <laughs> so this happened last year and that's when i had my first car accident an unexpected thing that i wasn't expecting to happen but i guess i'll go ahead and explain to you guys so for a while i was really looking for a job and i couldn't find a job and one of my friends told me hey uh they're hiring at one of the car dealerships the car dealership next to the one she works at well at first i wasn't really too sure because it's like the distance is further but then i was like you know what it's full time I need a full-time job I need a better job the day came it was about a Friday or Thursday so here I am dressing up and <laughs> you guys I'm not the type that likes to dress up and this was already my fourth interview ever I never actually drove in in this area before as I said it was further than what I'm used to so I right away put it on my phone yeah there I go driving in my car everything's all cool I'm good but I was kind of having a moment where I started thinking about let's just say negativity pretty much hit me and I can't find a job I've been to only three or four interviews then I know what you guys are thinking like why were you thinking like that you were supposed to think positive nothing comes out of thinking negative okay everything's gonna be fine just you're just gonna go to this interview just do what you can and whatever I'm at the lights I look at my phone cuz just to make sure am I going in the right direction here's the thing me I can't give directions, so if you ever ask me for directions like how do you get to here, get to there, you're asking the wrong person. I don't know streets. The light turns green, here I go, and then I don't know where the car or the van, I don't even know what vehicle that was, but it was like a vanished vehicle. So here I am like freaking freaking. I'm serious. It felt like, you know what it felt like? It felt like I was really digging into the concrete. I don't need this right now. Like, please freaking stop. I ended up hitting him. <sighs> something like that, but it wasn't something that serious. Thankfully, I couldn't believe that happened to me. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, oh, the interview starts in like 20 minutes or 10 minutes and I'm over here stuck. Here. <laughs> we were barely getting out of the lights. I wasn't even concerned about the car. I was more concerned about the insurance going up. Okay, I gotta get out of the car, see if the whoever I is driving is okay. Yeah, I was like this older man, I guess like in his 50s or 60s, he gets out of the car. I'm so sorry. Uh, and he's like, it's okay. It was just a mistake. No, his car, it was pretty, it was all right. It did get a scratch a little and part of his light kind of broke off a bit me i got a freaking dent like this we were okay he was all right and then he just tells me so are you gonna go ahead and call the cops and oh, i was like oh my gosh i've never done this before don't tell me to call the cops i don't know what to do i just told this about the scene from movies like 911 what's your emergency that's all i know i'm like you're the older one like you're the I know I'm an adult, but it's like, you can take care of it. <laughs> well, why don't you call? I think I did tell him that. And he said, no, because I don't have my glasses, which I found a bit strange because how could you be driving without your glasses, right? But here I am, I'm like, okay, okay. So I get my phone and I hit 911. How are you guys? Is everyone fine? And I said, yes. Do you know where you are? And that was the question I was afraid of them asking me. And I was like, no. Stupid me, I, I was like, oh yeah, I'm near the lights, the street signs are right there, so here I am, turning away, looking for, you know, a way to, where is the street name, and I, as I said, dummy me, it was right there, because there was a gas station near there, and she said just to go there, and apparently a cop was going to come over. So I tell the man, oh, she just said to get out of the way and there, the cops should be coming and his, you know, should be arriving soon. And he's like, okay, so that's where we drive. He gives me a piece of paper and a pen, right? And he tells me, could you write down your license plate and your insurance and all that stuff? Are you sure? Because I haven't written in a while. I mean, ever since I finished school, I just dished paper and pencil, I just used my computer. My writing was never good at the fr in the first place. You might not understand, he said, no, go ahead. Cause he said he didn't have his glasses again. I took photos, everything. My mom, I did call her and well, I'll be right there and see 
what happened. Yashi and Raz, they talk to each other, but oh, more or less everything's fine. And then the man just told me, well, you can file a police report at so-and-so area. And I was just like listening. I'm running late to my interview. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I just wanted to speed this thing up. And at least my car was still running. We were okay. I needed to go to that interview. I needed this new job. I walk in and I said, oh, do you know where so-and-so? Because my friend was working. And she told me, find me when you're here. Oh my gosh, you're late. And I said, I know, girl, I know, but... I got in a freaking accident and just freaking came out of the Thankfully, it wasn't anything severe as I said, so maybe that's why I was okay. She gave me the application and I signed it as quick as I can. And this was a mistake. I should have never... Do you think I should tell him why I'm late that I was in a car accident? Because for me, I thought it was wrong because you know how it is first impression. So here I am trying to make myself look good. But ironically, I'm going to a car dealership for an interview when I got into a car accident. So in my head, I'm like, is this going to make me look bad? Is this going to lower my chances on getting the job? In the interview went okay. They didn't ask me why you were late or anything. Well, obviously. <laughs> Cause it's like not their problem, it's your problem. You're already looking bad. This is the craziest thing though. Ew, a week kind of passed after this. Uh, the doorbell rings. My mom answers it. I hear her talking to somebody and for some reason I just felt like, wow, that voice sounds familiar, right? And my mom just says, uh, could you come in? Could you come out here? And I said, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I would never see you again. He's freaking there. It was so creepy, the fact that this man just showed up in this in the front door right now and why is this man here? He then goes to explain that apparently the information I gave him was wrong. They couldn't find my information in their insurance. Here's the thing, my number starts with like three nines or something like that and I guess to him he thought I was playing a joke on him, which honestly I wasn't, that's my actual number but didn't you file a police report? And I'm like, no, because for one, my dad did tell me, you don't have to worry about putting a re police report. Since this man is going to do it, they're going to go ahead and find you because you can't escape something like that, right? Because you're going to be on that fire or whatever. Could you please give me your information again? Because you gave it to me wrong. And... and then here's the thing, you guys. He was explaining the situation to my mom. Oh, oh my gosh. When he hit me, it was so crazy. I mean, he hit me and my back turned and my head went back. Like he was making it sound like I hit him so severely that his vehicle was like damaged, damaged, like super bad off. Even though he was speaking in Spanish, I could tell what the heck he was saying. I'm like, first off, why is he here? And why is he lying? I gave him the right information. It was pretty, I don't know, like, I don't even know what to tell you guys about that. I even think that he even showed up to this house just to see what we have. But here's the thing. I don't own this stuff. Like this is my parents' house. If you think you're going to get money out of me, I really don't. <laughs> I really have like a dime in my account. Like you can't get anything out of me if that's what you're thinking. That's what I feel like this man was doing. He was trying to get more out of me. Thankfully, everything's all good now. Um... Yeah. The thing that sucks the most is that I went through all that. I got my car banged up a little and I know it was my fault so I'm not blaming anyone. But still it sucks that all that happened to me and I never got the job. I just thought because I got into this accident and since ironically I'm going to a car dealership for a job. I thought it would make me look bad but it wouldn't have not changed anything. Well at least I know for next time if anything happens just to say it so that way you won't lower your chances of not getting an opportunity or whatever, a, a job or whatever I'm trying to get. So my question for you guys is, have you ever been in a car accident? And if you have, has ever been someone that seems to want to get more money out of you? And if so, tell me in the comments how you handle it because you guys, I still can't believe this man showed up in this house. Like, imagine if I just see him parked right there watching and just <laughs> plotting to steal from this. Oh. Anyways, you guys, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment. All my links are going to be in the description down below. But until the next video, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Take care.